with the help of uh, uh, data from Sky, we are going to do a bit of uh, traffic analysis along the highway. Uh, this is a very busy highway uh, that uh, connects not only the airport uh, going to, towards Lyon, but also all the other major cities uh, uh, to, uh, to the city of Lyon, which is the uh, second largest city here in France. So uh, it's really ripe for our mission. Yeah. Peter, over to you now. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so we, we are standing here uh, next to the highway, but uh, we don't really know what's going on on the highway, right? Uh, but luckily enough, we've got the drone, uh, so we are able to get this nice bird's eye, uh, bird's eye view of, uh, of the traffic. But then still, uh, you can see the traffic pr from above, but uh, it's just assessing it, you know, you have the feeling what, what's going on, but there's no quantitative data. And that's uh, where our data from Sky Analytics, the traffic drone unit, kicks in. Uh, basically, we have just connected the units to, to the remote controller that we've got here. Uh, we've got a HDMI video feed going to the unit. And the unit is performing traffic analysis or the uh, image processing, image analysis in real time. So the unit can be configured uh, for multiple scenes. Uh, as you can see, you can, you can operate it uh, like directly over there, or you can have like remote uh, operation. So let me just enter this, uh, this scene that we've got uh, created here. And uh, basically let's let's start to analyze uh what we what we see so i can just uh i'm seeing the traffic and perhaps being a traffic manager of a major sports event at the adorama stadium i want to know you know how many cars how many vehicles are are exiting towards the stadium to know what to expect so i just draw a gate like this and i put the gate into our uh, canvas and like this I'm immediately starting to analyze uh, the traffic so you can see that we've got 163 vehicles right now so I'll ask Antoine to switch to that uh, to the direct feed uh, to have uh, to have more details uh, of the environment so now you can see that uh, there are some cars uh, departing from the highway. That, that's good. But uh, perhaps we want to know about the traffic uh, departing from Lyon and going towards Lyon as well. So I'm going to put two more gates here. And again, I'm going to move them uh, to this canvas, which is basically a you know, visual programming interface. So as you can see, there are some uh, counts of, of uh, the traffic participants uh, being displayed. Now, uh, I, can, I can build uh, a dashboard to have a nice overview of, uh, of the situation. So I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in the, in the counts, in the values uh, for, these, uh, for these two gates. And I'm. Yeah, it might be interesting for me to see also like uh, what's the what's the category distribution uh, of those two of those two uh, directions. So switching towards dashboard, I can immediately see that uh, uh, we've got we've got uh, you know 203 gate uh, 204 cars right now. Uh, departing from from Lyon uh, during the during the time that we've been measuring and uh, 564 cars uh, going towards Lyon I mean there's there's a bit less heavy vehicles and and vans and so on there are, there are no pedestrians of course uh, on the on the highway so now if I if I want to know uh, well I mean I can also see the the history of these of these numbers so i can just visualize uh the history like this uh, let me just put like five minute history because right now we are we are hovering there just for a bit uh but uh 
you know, thanks to our friends uh, from Alistair, you can be monitoring the traffic for a really a long time. So really easy. You can you can just uh, create the history and see see the development of the of the situation basically. So that's one thing. Then I can uh, I can try to visualize. Uh, uh, I mean, what's the what's the proportion of of the cars going uh, outwards and inwards, Leon? Uh, like this. I'm just going to change the change the colors. Uh, so you've got like immediate feeling or immediate uh, precise knowledge of uh, of what's going on, and uh, we can all also if what if I you know what if I want to know precisely like how many vehicles uh, are departing, uh, then I can use my uh, my expression widget and basically you know, it's the same as uh, with your spreadsheet I mean Microsoft Excel or, or something. You just put uh, one value minus the second value, and uh, immediately I can I can in every single uh, moment I can see you know what's the basically what's the balance of vehicles going uh, inwards and outwards. So yeah, so this is uh, pretty much about the the basic analytic functions. But uh, I mean you can you can do much more with uh, with our analytic. Uh, Capabilities. So, for example, one of the really dangerous uh, things that can happen on, on the highway is like stalled vehicles. So, let me just draw a zone like this, and uh, I'm putting this into the canvas. And now, I'm just uh, let me just expand it a bit, okay, so that we can see it. And uh, if I just put a stationary operation, uh, operator there, so I'm able to set up, you know, uh, that that I'm interested in uh, in vehicles uh, like going or stalling at the highway for more than a few seconds, you know, more than nine seconds. And if there is a, such a vehicle, then I I've got. Uh, immediate uh, warning and i can connect this signal to a uh, uh, you know mm, like dynamic traffic uh, traffic sign or uh, or a gate or uh, try to warn the, the other drivers and so on i can uh, maybe even more dangerous uh, situation on the highway is uh, is wrong way driving right so this is Again, very easily done. I just uh, create one more gate uh, here at the exit lane, and uh, by creating a movement in the opposite direction, you know these are the cars that would um, move uh, contrary to the to the normal flow. I've, uh, I'm filtering out vehicles that are that that are taking the the wrong way. So we definitely don't want to see uh, vehicles like that. Okay, so uh, as you've seen, this is this is a really flexible uh, system that you can use for for a lot of uh, scenarios, and uh, you can adapt to whatever situation. This is this is intended for for situations where there's blockage on the road. You know, you you have to manage immediately or something right. like that. So uh, basically, you just come, set it up in in few minutes, and uh, you are able to. You know, assess the situation, control it, directly feed all the data into your control room so that you've got a really good uh, uh, situational awareness. So this is basically all that's about. So I think it's it's probably good for now. And, that's great. Uh, it's over to you. Well, thank you very much, Peter. That was very insightful. Uh, just to uh, quickly summarize, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're able to count the vehicles that are on the highway. Uh, we're also able to assess uh, the speed of some of these vehicles. Uh, and something I haven't mentioned, sorry, but uh, no worries. That, that's one of the main uh, use cases, obviously. We are, uh, yeah, 
I can I can <laughs> show it, but basically you are you've got all the data. Why don't I? Why don't I? Can I just? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Let's let's have a look at yeah, that yeah. as well. So so you know, just adding uh, just adding another widget over here. I can. Uh, I'm, I'm now uh, sorry. I'm now interested in uh, statistical value of uh, of uh, the current speed, right? And just like this, uh, the dashboard is showing me uh, the statistics of uh, of all the vehicles passing uh, the gate six, right? So. Uh, this, this is valid for all the vehicles. If you perform registration of the scene, uh, then uh, then you'll have uh, the value in in physical units in the kilometers per hour. Okay. There's also uh, another approach. Uh, you can you can measure the the velocity uh, within a section. So basically, it's a section speed measurement, and it's very precise. It can even be used for for enforcement. Okay, and, that's I mean, great. It, we've got a we've got a unit um, or module. Uh, where you can uh, place your camera uh, just beside the highway and perform uh, automatic number plate recognition, uh, and you can basically, you know, uh, fuse the data from the from the drone and from that camera so that you've got uh, clear evidence of of uh, vehicle trespassing, uh, you know, the given speed limit, and you've got the number plate of that vehicle. So okay, that, that's uh, that, 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 that's very useful, uh, especially for some of our customers and uh, uh, customers that are interested in applications uh, in law enforcement, uh, as well as uh, traffic uh, motorway traffic analysis. Uh, so to quickly summarize, Peter, uh, we're able to count cars today. We were able to count cars on this uh, very busy motorway. Uh, we're able to identify and gauge their speed. It's also possible, like you say, uh, to do uh, number plate recognition, uh, identify any cars that are on the wrong side of the motorway, and most importantly, also able to identify any uh, vehicles that are stalled. Yeah. So thank you very much. That was very insightful. Uh, we also have a scenario that we'll present to you later. Uh, for the moment, uh, we would like to uh, show you battery screen and how do we actually know uh, that the power is uh, that the uh, the power uh, to the drone is coming from the tether station. Uh, can we switch to the battery screen really quick? Okay, guys, uh, we're going to now uh, present to you a scenario of a uh, perimeter breach uh, using uh, Elastair Safety 2 tether station, uh, a DJI M300, as well as uh, uh, the traffic analysis uh, drone unit. And uh, what we need the camera over here, right? Ah. Okay. Right. okay, and, and uh, the scenario we've built is uh, uh, we have a uh, unauthorized vehicle that is going to uh, attempt to breach uh, uh, the perimeter that we're actually uh, filming the live demonstration from. And uh, 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 Peter is building a security pe perimeter as we speak at the moment. So basically, it's really easy, you know, to, to adjust. Uh, this is basically just again just a zone. Uh, you can add it to whatever, um, whatever uh, you know, aiming you you want to have it. Uh, and off we go. It's uh, being uh, we've got one instance of this of this zone in our in our canvas. And we are interested uh, only in uh, cars, uh, light vehicles, and, and heavy vehicles. And we are counting uh, the number of, of uh, vehicles being present in the zone right now. So as you can see, there's, uh, there's no vehicle in the zone. So we are, we are safe, and our perimeter is OK. Uh, and we have uh, fed this signal to, to this unit uh, Basically, the as I've mentioned before, uh, the traffic drone unit can be connected to to a lot of interfaces. You, you can have uh, REST API and so on. But we have connected this unit to a mock-up of uh, of this warning light, which we've got uh, right uh, in front of us here. So uh, we shall be able to detect the vehicle uh, 
as it's uh, you know okay going into the okay uh, Peter I noticed that uh, an authorized vehicle is approaching our perimeter And uh, as we can see, uh, 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 the warning light has started to blink, uh, and thereby warning, uh, you know, the security officer or the police officer, officer that is monitoring that per specific perimeter. And the application that this can be used uh, in is, uh, uh, for example, event management, and, and uh, you know, for example, if you have a, a a lane or a section of the highway that has been cordoned off and you have a car that is trying to breach that perimeter, uh, the, 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 the uh, traffic inspector or the officer will be alerted immediately upon the arrival of that, that, that specific vehicle. So uh, that was uh, very useful. Thank you very much, Peter, for attending our demonstration along with data from Sky uh, for uh, traffic surveillance monitoring and analysis uh, using the uh, traffic drone unit from data from Sky Safety to tether station from Elister, uh, uh, tether to a DJI M300. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the chat is still available. If you have any more questions, uh, please feel free to ask those questions on the chat. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, and it was a pleasure. Thank you, Peter. Bye.